Trade of the day brought to you by Day Trade. The world is going to be Carvana, and this was a flyer today. But we saw the explosive moves on Lucid and just about anything that had a short interest on Friday. Today it's going to be Carvana. You're going to see it up about 20%. But this stock, look at the daily chart, man. You've been absolutely crushed from 24 all the way down to like three bucks. You start forming a bit of a base, and this is where I'm focused on. You already had the move on Friday that got you to eight dollars. You got nine, and then this level right in here, just beneath nine dollars, it's like an 875 to nine area that was primed to break out. So if you're going to take a breakout trade, I always prefer dip buys. Get yourself a better price. But if you're going to take a breakout breakout trade, make sure it is at a key level. Level, one where there is confirmation on the higher time frame. That's why I went to the daily chart. You're going to see it was a pretty clean break when it took out the high here. Now, a couple of things. We talk, everyone talks about averaging down. Oh, stock's going down. Buy more, buy more, get yourself a better price. Sometimes you've got to be willing to ride a move higher and think about buying even higher. Now, if I think a move off a $9 level realistically you've got ten dollars in here you've got twelve dollars and those are the two things I'm keeping in mind it's like I think nine to ten I think if it extends and gets past ten it can go to twelve dollars there so that's what I'm working with so when we first scalp some out there to the first quarter I'm actually adding to it when it consolidates and breaks back out again scalp some out hold all the way to ten dollars that's the first leg looking for that nine to ten push adding on the way up, everything looking absolutely fine. Now here's where the second part of the trade comes in. Now whether or not it works, if I think there's room from 10 into 12, I want to try and structure a second trade off of those levels. There's your consolidation break off the 10 level. I end up scalping some out, I'm reloading inside, and it fails 10. I'm not fighting it beneath that level, but this I'm willing to risk about 30, 40 pennies because I think we got three or four X to the upside. So in this case, I'm willing to buy almost all the way up when it's holding those key price levels, adding, not averaging down, averaging up, get more when it is looking good and try to hold for the bigger move on that higher time frame. That's why Carvana is your trade of the day as always brought to you by Day Trade of the World. And a good